Metal 3D printing is revolutionizing the speed at which we are able to turn our design ideas into functional metal parts. So, what is metal 3D printing? How does it work? And how will it evolve in the future? Over the past few years, there has been a surge in supply and demand for metal 3D printers. Manufacturers are launching additive metal manufacturing machines that are more efficient, easier to use, and that support an increasing number of metals and alloys. Many businesses are adopting metal 3D printing technologies to produce cost-effective metal parts and prototypes very quickly. These are suitable for R&D projects in a variety of industries such as automotive, aerospace, and health. Despite the fact that metal 3D printer prices have been falling steadily, these machines are still very expensive, ranging from $80,000 to almost $1 million. So, how does it work? There are four main types of metal 3D printing technologies. Powder bed fusion, directed energy deposition, metal filament extrusion, and material jetting. We will now give you a short summary of each. For number one, metal powder bed fusion 3D printing. This includes SLS, SLM, and DMP. At the moment, the most commonly used metal 3D printing technology is powder bed fusion. Simply put, the 3D printer creates objects out of a bed of powdered metal using a powerful laser that is used to fuse or even melt the powder into a solid along very specific positions, thus creating your object. For number two, directed energy deposition or DED. This technology is comparable to filament extrusion. The metal material is pushed through a special nozzle, like with an FDM printer, but a powerful laser beam melts and solidifies the material at its deposition point. For number three, metal filament extrusion. This works like with a regular FDM printer. The filament is melted and extruded through a special nozzle. In the case of metal 3D printing, the filament is generally made of metal particles infused into a binding agent in the filament. After the part is printed, the result is a raw object or part. It must go through several post-processing steps such as debinding and sintering to attain its final metal form and remove all the impurities. For number four, material jetting and binder jetting. These printers are equipped with various inkjet print heads, somewhat similar to a 2D printer, that jet material onto the surface. The material then hardens and another layer of metal ink is jetted on top. Binder jetting is a similar process, but it is a binding agent that is jetted atop of a layer of powder. As for future technologies, here are some exciting technological advancements in this space. Number one, hybrid metal 3D printing machines. These machines use a combination of additive and subtractive manufacturing methods. That is to say, these printers can 3D print and CNC machine the same part in five axes at the same time. Number two is multi-layer concurrent printing. This printing technology distinguishes itself by being able to print multiple layers in a single pass, thus accelerating the overall printing process. What do you think the future of metal 3D printing will look like? Will these printers become affordable enough to have in our personal workshops? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, Smash the subscribe button and the notification bell to watch similar videos in the future. Cheers!